Let's break down hidden Markov models, or HMMS, in a simple and visual way. Imagine this. You're indoors and trying to figure out the weather outside, but you can't look out the window. Instead, you observe what people around you are doing. If you see someone with an umbrella, you might guess it's raining. If no one has an umbrella, maybe it's sunny. This is the key idea behind a hidden Markov model. In an HMM, there are two layers, the hidden states. In our case, the actual weather, sunny or rainy. And the observations, like seeing someone carry an umbrella. We can't directly see the true state. We only observe the result of that state. Now what makes HMM special is the way they use probabilities to move from one state to another over time, like the chance of going from a sunny day to a rainy day, and to link each state to a likely observation, like how likely it is for someone to carry an umbrella if it's raining. These probabilities let us model real-world processes where the true situation is hidden, but we can still guess what's going on by watching for clues. So now that we understand the intuition, Let's see how hidden Markov models actually work in practice. There are three key components in an HMM, transition probabilities. This defines how likely it is to go from one hidden state to another. For example, there might be a 70% chance it stays sunny and a 30% chance it switches to rainy. Emission probabilities. These define how likely we are to see a certain observation from a state. For instance, if it's rainy, there might be a 90% chance someone carries an umbrella. Initial probabilities. This tells us how likely each state is at the start. Maybe there's a 50-50 chance of starting on a sunny or rainy day. Once we have all these, we can use algorithms like the Viterbi algorithm to figure out the most likely sequence of hidden states, even if we only see the observations. This is how tools like speech recognition, part of speech tagging, and even DNA sequencing work. They use HMMS to uncover the hidden layers behind what we observe. So in short, hidden Markov models are a smart way of making sense of uncertain, hidden things, just by watching what we can see over time.